Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today, you guys, I want to make some adjustments to my binder before I start the month of June. I really should have been doing this like a day or two ago, but you know, your girl need a little bit of time off. So I do have some new folders that I have here, envelopes that I made for myself. I wanna make sure that I'm able to allocate some money that I think is being just you know, stored in an envelope right now into some of these newer categories. And so I'm just gonna be reorganizing a few things and I thought I'd bring this on camera just to show you guys first. And then we'll get started with the things that need to be done for June. So if that sounds like something that interests you, seeing me reorganize my categories and essentially kinda starting over in a way, then let's get right into it. All right, so I'm only gonna be allocating money from my actual sinking funds that are already in here and the cash that I already have in here. I am selling custom sets of um, envelopes on Etsy, a group of six, I think this is five, but yeah, a group of six. Um, so you can look into that, I have a few options for that. For right now though, I did make myself some new ones. My new categories are gonna be date night. I used to have a date night cash envelope. I stopped utilizing it because you know COVID came and we weren't really going out on dates anymore, but now it's time to get back out y'all so i need to be paying for some date nights as well so i added that in i also created an allowance category and i don't know if you guys know but out of my little key holder if um i need to give allowance i kind of just been giving my son the ones out of there but sometimes i still have extras and instead of just spending them or throwing them to the penny challenge i'm going to put them in here and that way when it's time for allowance i'll always have a fund for that that one will be pretty like, you know, rotating in and out. I'm not gonna necessarily count it all the time, but I will have a place to hold the money. I also made one for home association. It just says home association, but it's for homeowners association fees. Um, I pay this once a year and so it's due every January and I wanna start stuffing for that one. I made a back to school envelope because y'all already know, I told you, I gotta get up on this back to school situation with my kids. I know my daughter's gonna be a senior, my son's going to middle school for the first time and they're gonna want a lot of new clothes, new shoes. And so I've made it back to school so I can fund that. I am still gonna make the back to school challenge and link it in a video coming up soon. The last one I made is a category called Life Happens and I got it the idea from Vita with Vicky. And this is just for like incidental things that might come up that I wasn't expecting, that I don't need to think so hard as to what category to bring it out of but I can actually bring it out of a life happens categories. I'll be stuffing small amounts in here just so if something does happen, I have a folder to pull it out of. So those are all of my new envelopes that I made and that I'm gonna be actually putting into this binder. So let's go ahead and see what we have so far because I'm gonna be taking the majority of the money out of this binder. We'll start with, let me turn it this way. I do have the trackers in here, luckily, so I can kind of see what I had stuffed in every category. If it has a placeholder, I'm gonna put it back in because that money's already in the bank and that folder should definitely be designated with that. I'm just gonna be reallocating some of the cash that's in the folders to new categories like the ones here. So I hope that doesn't confuse anybody. Janae was supposed to have $800, so she had a $500 placeholder that's in the bank, and this is 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, $300. So that's $300 for her. And I'm gonna put all the money up here so we can just restuff what it is I wanna stuff and figure out how to go from there. So hold on, let me move these. And actually, I'm gonna sit these right here for right now until we put them in, okay? Jace is next. He also has a $500 placeholder and I'm gonna leave that money in the bank on him, on him, for him. And the rest of his should be 345, which is 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 310, 320, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Oh, maybe, maybe I didn't update the tracker. Oh no, I did. It says 895. I can't read my own writing, y'all. Okay, so 395 is what we're gonna put in his. Let me scoot this over. And you know, I thought since we're heading into the second half of the year, it was a good time to just go ahead and restart some things and make sure I have all the categories that I need. For mine, I have a $500 placeholder. Um, I'm gonna put back in there and I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. So I had a total of 695, which I think I'm gonna stuff that in a little bit more if I can find some extra. But for right now, we'll put that. And I'm gonna put the $500 back in. 
Car maintenance, I have 1,360. I leave the 1K slip in here. And car maintenance is one that I really don't have to stuff right now. You guys don't know my car broke down. And so I've been using a rental car until it's time for me to take over using my mom's car, which won't have a car payment. It's not until then that I would actually need car maintenance. So I'm not gonna stuff that one necessarily right now. And I'm gonna take the extra out other than a thousand. I'll leave a thousand in that cash envelope in case when it is time for me to take over my mom's car, it needs some type of maintenance things. And I'll probably continue or resume stuffing that envelope then. But for right now, I have a rental car that has all the service included. So I don't really need that envelope. So there's one, two, three, 320, 40, 60. So I know that's $360 that I'll be reallocating somewhere else. Household has 230, and that's 1, 2, 10, 20, 30. And I feel like that is going to need a little bit more in household because when I want to make runs. Birthday, I have 1, 2, 3, 350, um, 360, sorry. And I might maybe might put more or less into that one. We'll see how that goes. Medical, I also have 360. That's 1, 2, 250. 70, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. So yeah, I think it's important sometimes to go back and look and see what you actually been stuffing and do those categories still serve your needs and you know, and what you actually want at this point. And do you need some new categories, you know? Clothing has 500. I'm actually gonna take this 500 out of the bank and have us to go shopping with it. So I'm gonna put it back in here for now. We know that's staying. And outside of that, it has 51, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 135. So that was a total of 635 for clothing. But let me go ahead and allocate this money. And I don't want to leave clothing high and dry, so I might end up putting some extra in there. Boss is one of the boss funds is one of the folders that I want to take out. I do leave money inside the business account. If you guys didn't see my monthly May recap, I spoke about how I've been handling my finances, and I'll put a link up here. It's been doing so much better, um, but I don't really need a boss fund where I go in and pull out cash because I do leave money in the bank for my business expenses. So this is a category I'm gonna totally do away with and I'll just sit it over here to the side. And it has one, 20, 40, 45, 50, $55. So that's one of the categories I can get rid of. Travel, I still wanna have travel. Um, right now I have 1500 that is in the bank for travel and I'm gonna leave that in here and I might actually put a little bit more in travel because I want to do some things this summer and this has 1, 2, 20, 30, 40. So 1740 was in there. We'll see how much we restuff. Gingy has 310. That's 1, 2, 250, 70, 70, you know, 80, 90, 300. And 10, so 310 for Gingy. Does my cat really need that much? I'm not sure. Beauty has 470. I'm gonna at least stuff that back. One, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 70. And the reason why I think I'm gonna stuff that is because I'm sure sometime this summer, my daughter's gonna wanna get her hair braided. And that costs like about $300. So I'll put some back in there. One month ahead, I have $1,000 in the bank for one month ahead. I'm gonna leave that in there. Um, and the rest of this, I might stuff more. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 2. So it had 1,200 in there. I don't have a tracker for this one. Glasses has 300. I'm not gonna unstuff it because that is an amount that I need for the glasses next year, and I do wanna leave that in there. Groceries, this is for extra groceries. This has 125, it really needs more than that. So I'm gonna put that on the table and see if I can add more than that. Giving, I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, because that's for giveaways and, you know, giving to people in need. Investments, I'm going to take this out of here and I'm actually going to get rid of investments because I know that I'm not going to be investing anytime soon. My strategy for investments is going to be to buy a second property. If you didn't see my video in regards to my vision board, I'll put it up here. But I spoke about wanting to get a second home um, and live in it part of the year and the rest of the part of the year pretty much rent it out. So that's my goals as far as investing. So I don't see myself really putting money into the stock market just yet. Maybe soon in my life, but it's not coming up anytime soon. And that $100 has just been sitting there that could be allocated towards something else that we really need. Okay, so I'm going to do away with that category as well. 
So let me go ahead and um, organize this money <laughs> and then put these other categories in here that are gonna be very important to me and things that I feel like I need. So let me add those in first. I'll put them in front of giving and bank deposit. Actually, I think I'll put groceries. We'll go up to the front. Glasses, since that one's satisfied, I'm gonna put that one towards the back. Yeah, yeah. And let me put one month ahead kind of towards the back as well. And then everything else is gonna go up here. It's funny because these new envelopes have rounded edges and the other ones are all square, but it works. <laughs> all right, so let me count up how much cash I actually have. This is just cash. This is not any of the money that I have in the bank, but just how much cash is in this envelope. I'll count it all up before we reallocate it and then we'll go ahead and do the restuffing, okay? So let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. 50, 24, 50, 25, 50, 26, 50, 27, 20, 40, 60, 80, 28, 20, 40, 60, 80, 29, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 420, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 96. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 97. So that's 20. That's 3,700. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 38. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 38, 35 is total what I have to restuff. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and restuff all of this money into the category. And I'm kind of just winging it because I didn't make a plan in advance. I didn't even know how much money I'd have to restuff, but I do know I want to put some into those newer categories as well. All right, so, so let's start with Janae. I'm going to even out Janae and Jace before I put their new cards in. And both of them have $500 right now. Um, and I think I'll put them both up to seven. So that means I'm gonna put an extra one, two, three, four hundred dollars in their envelopes. And that's taking a little bit out of each of theirs, but it'll work. Hold on. So Janae will have five, six, seven. And that's before we put the 300, 400 scratch off cards into their envelopes, okay? And for Jace, he'll have five, six, seven as well. All right, and then there's myself, and I had 695 before. I have 500 in here now. I think I wanna take myself up to 800. I'll do two 50s and then 20s because I do get smaller amounts sometimes out of here. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. Okay, so that'll be 800 for myself. So your girl came up a little bit, and I still have to finish my 300, 400 scratch off card. Car maintenance, I already spoke about that one. I'm going to be leaving that one um, at $1,000 because I don't anticipate having to use this for the next couple of months. Household is one that had 230 and I want to be able to put 300 so I'll put 250s. And then 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 82. So that'll be 300. We'll go ahead and add an extra 70 to that. 300 is my normal like Costco Sam's Club run. And so when I need to do that, I want to make sure that I have enough in household. So I'm going to leave that one at three and possibly stuff more as we go. Birthdays. Um, I had 360 in here. I'm just going to put 300. Um, I don't really have any birthdays coming up except for Jace and his birthday is not until August. I think I'll be able to stuff some more over the summer if needed, but also I'm going to be getting him his computer. So that's one, two, fifty, three hundred going into birthdays. So I will be taking some out of that. Medical, I have 360, and I think I'm just going to put a flat 300. Um, if I have a copay or medication that's needed, then I'll get some out of here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 20, 40, 60. Why'd I get an extra hundred out of here? 
I'm gonna put two 100s and then some smaller bills in case I need to buy some over-the-counter meds. So one, two, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300 will go into medical. And I might add more if at the end I get to more money because I'm really low-key just winging it, y'all. <laughs> All right, for um, clothing, I had 635. Um, I'm going to leave just the 500 in here because this is pretty much for summer clothes. School clothes is going to be coming out of that back to school envelope. So I'm just going to leave the 500 straight in clothing. Actually, let me put one more hundred. I'll put 600 in there total. And so because I'm going to be spending some of this for us to go shopping for the summer clothes. So so that I'll have something left once I start spending some of that. I'll put an extra hundred. So that'll be 600 total in there. Let's see. Travel. Travel, I think I need a little bit more. I had seventeen forty. I have fifteen hundred in the bank. I think I'm gonna put another five hundred in here. One, two, three. I'll leave that. There we go. All right, so we'll put four 100s. We're running low on small bills. One, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85. 500 will go into travel. So that'll have a total of 2,000 because I do have some things that I want to do this summer as far as taking trips, and it'll come out of that fund. I also have the $2,000 extra from the um, spring break savings challenge, and I was thinking that that's the money I was thinking about using to rent a house for the summer for a couple of weeks. Uh, Gingy had 310. I'm only going to put 200 back in Gingy's. Matter of fact, I'll put 210. This is mainly used for her treats and things like that. Let me take that out of there. Hold on. I'm thinking I might need some smaller bills because sometimes I just run to the pet store and pick her up some snacks or some food and I grab just a small bill out of here. So I don't want to have all large bills. So 1, 2, 250, 70, 90, 300. Wait. 1, 2, 50. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be putting 210. 150, 70, 90, 210. 210 for Miss Gingy. And we will build her back up, but she doesn't need that much money holding in there. There's not a time that I'm really using that much. Beauty has 470. Had 470. I'm going to put 450 back. One, two, three, four. We're going to need this money in case Janae wants to go get her hair braided. There will automatically be money for that. So that will be sitting over in beauty. I'm sure sometime this summer she'll want to get it done. Groceries. Let's see. Groceries had a hundred and something. I'm going to come back to that one. Date night. I definitely want to put $40. That's like the minimum for our date night. And I'll put some into the budget for the month so I can build that up. But at least once a month, I want to be able to treat my guy. He's always treating me. Life happens. I'll come back to that one. Back to school. I want to at least put $100 to start. I feel like... Back to school is one that's going to really need a lot of money. Um, it goes really, really quick buying school clothes. Have y'all felt like that? I feel like that goes like that all the time for me. Homeowners Association. This fee is $350 a year. So I at least want to put the 50. I'll put it in 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Since we have all these 10s here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I might need to see if I could do a bill exchange real quick. But... I'll put 50 in Homeowners Association. Allowance, I want to put some fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. I think $20 worth of fives is going to be okay to start that one. One month ahead, I do want to put another $300. I'd like to have $1,300. So let's see. One, two. We put some small bills. So we got so many. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. And if I do a bill exchange, I'll pull these out of here. So that's going to be one month ahead. Has 1300 Glasses was good. Giving's nothing. Okay. So allowance is good. Homeowners Association is good for starting. Back to school is good for starting. I need to put something in Life Happens and restock groceries. Date night's good. Okay. So groceries, let's do that one first. Because groceries, y'all, is the realest. 10 20 30 only have 125 in here, but I'm gonna put a little bit more. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 70. 
All right, so I'm gonna put 300 into groceries. That's one, two, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300 in groceries. Uh, that's in case my grocery budget goes over. It hasn't been going over. Actually, it's been pretty good, but I am gonna go ahead and have some extra reserve in case we do need to do something. I'm thinking like on holidays, like 4th of July, that can come out of the extra grocery money if we need some extra things to like barbecue and things like that, okay? The rest of this, I'm gonna put in Life Happens, which is 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 110, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Huh, maybe I'll put just 150 in Life Happens. And yes, I definitely am gonna have to do a bill swap. Cause these little small bills is clogging up my little envelope situation. Um, and then the extra 15, I think I will put it, uh, 15, maybe I'll add it over here and close. So close started with 635 and it's going to end up with 615. I'll put it over there. So I'm sure there's something that we'll be buying this summer. And like I said, I'm already going to be spending some of this 500 very shortly. All right, yeah, so I think that cleaned it all up for me. I do need to do a little bit of a bill swap, which I might do that off camera, swap it out for some larger bills off camera, um, or I might end up bringing a cash unstuffing later on after I budget and stuff for the first week of June. But for right now, I think I have all the categories I need. I was watching Free to Fly Budgeting. If you guys don't know her, I'll put her channel name here across the screen. Um, she had a video that was talking about if you are a macro or a micro budgeter and how you can tell which one you are. And I really think I fall somewhere in between. I don't, a macro budgeter would like just large categories, you know, where you might have one that says car, but out of there you pull out tires, oil change, um, car washes, all of that. And a micro budgeter would have an envelope for each individual thing and they have several binders. You know, I really only have two binders. I had three with bills, but I took the bills money back to the bank. So I really only have two binders now, one for regular sinking funds and one for savings challenges. But I kind of think I'm a micro budgeter too because I love a lot of savings challenges. I find myself adding more and more categories as time goes on, you know? And so she was saying, if you have difficulty taking from one envelope for these little small individual things, then maybe truly you are like a micro budgeter that needs all the individual categories so you can feel good pulling from the oil change category when you get an oil change. I'm not quite there yet. Like even this amount of envelopes is feeling like a bit much to me, but I know that I'm like, well, I really do have clothing and I really do need a separate back to school because I'm not gonna feel like taking all of my clothing fund up to $2,000 only to take it all out to do back to school stuff, you know? So in some ways, I think I lie kind of in the middle. You know, I'm not really all the way macro and not all the way micro. Um, but yeah, you guys should check out her video. I'll link that one video of hers down below so it'll be easy to find. Um, and that way you can check it out, listen to it and see what you think. And, and let me know, you know, do you think you're more of a micro or a macro budgeter? That's the comment we can put down below for today if you made it all the way to the end of this video. And yeah, don't forget to do all the things. Let's see, we need to subscribe. If we're not subscribed and hit the notification bell, I do have some really interesting content coming out this month. And so I'd like you to be a part of the fam. Like the video because it helps it to be suggested to other people. And then share the video with others. And then comment down below if you think you're more of a micro or macro budgeter. She has you do that on her video as well. I thought one thing that was really, really interesting that she spoke about, she's like, if you have a makeup case and you can put all your makeup in there and you just kind of dig around in that makeup bag and find what you need, you're probably more of a macro person. But if you need to have it all organized like lipsticks here and blushes here and <laughs> a mascara is here, then you're probably more of a micro budgeter. And I was thinking, and it, it can be in other categories of your life as well, in other words. And I was thinking, yeah, I think I'm more macro because I definitely just have one makeup bag. I don't even have a lot of makeup, but what I have, it all fits in one bag and I kind of just get down in there and find what it is I need. So anyway, I found it to be interesting content. I'll leave it below for you guys to check out as well. I think that's everything for this video. Expect there to be a June budget coming out and then I need to do the first week's budget and cash stuff for my weekly budgeting. Um, that really has been working well for me. And, oh, and also I have uh, some extra money that I want to put towards savings challenges. So you'll be seeing that soon. Once we get through that, maybe I'll go ahead and do a cash unstuffing. So there's a lot of content to come. I hope you guys stay around in order to see it all. 
And yeah, that's pretty much everything I needed to share for today. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.